Uh, good morning. Uh, for those uh, of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Uday Turaga. I'm son of uh, Dr. Prasad Rao. Uh, my mother, uh, Sujata Venkateshwari, is also here with us uh, today. Thank you for uh, joining us uh, today. Uh, it, it means a lot uh, to us. Uh, it has been a difficult uh, one month uh, since my dad uh, passed away on April 7th. Uh, but uh, getting to know, uh, get, uh, learning about him from the perspectives of all the people who knew him uh, has uh, provided some, um, uh, some comfort to us in, in this time. Um, uh, what we, uh, uh, you know, f I, I think most of you know, but uh, we took my father back to his uh, village, uh, Avidi, in uh, East Godavari district uh, in Andhra Pradesh after he passed away. That's uh, uh, where he was uh, most attached. Uh, that's the place he was most attached to. And then we did all the ceremonies and rituals there um, for 12 days. Um, and then uh, we took a little bit of a gap, and then we had a memorial meeting in uh, IIP, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun, uh, which was probably the second place that he was most attached to. Uh, this was on last Sunday. And uh, finally, he spent uh, the longest time in Delhi uh, in, in his life. And so we said uh, we needed to come and uh, do a small thing here for his well-wishers to, uh, you know, uh, for us to meet his well-wishers and, and, uh, uh, and, and connect with them. So uh, today's uh, thing is more of a memorial meeting than a prayer meeting, um, where we just uh, wanted us uh, all to get together and share some stories about uh, my father. Um, for those of you who knew my father, he had... Uh, is, you know, people use the word multifaceted. He, he was truly uh, multifaceted in the most extreme uh, form. He had this unique ability to connect with people at various levels. It didn't matter uh, whether it was uh, a senior executive or it was uh, somebody who uh, w w was doing very simple work at, uh, at, at, uh, at, at any place he was associated with. Uh, he knew them by name, he could connect with them, he remembered their children's names, he had this unique ability to forge connections and maintain them uh, for a very long period of time. He also was involved with a lot of initiatives. Um, obviously, he was a scientist by training and that's where he built his career. Uh, but then after working, um, he, he, he spent the first third of his career in public sector companies who so had a great deal of affection for the public sector uh, and, and a lot of uh, his co colleagues and friends from the public sector are here today. Uh, and then he went to the government where he again uh, at CSIR built, uh, he spent about 10 years at CSIR leading Indian Institute of Petroleum. Some of his colleagues from IIP are here today, uh, but some of his colleagues from the broader CSIR network are also here today. So we'll hear a couple of stories about him from there. Uh, and then, um, for, for I, I, today I was reading something and, and apparently somebody said uh, age is not a function of uh, uh, the number of years that, uh, that you have spent on this, uh, uh, on, on this planet, but it's a function of what uh, your mind is uh, and, and how old you think in your mind. Uh, my dad never considered himself uh, old. In fact, he would get offended if you, if, you, if, if you told him that I think you're old and you need to slow down. You know, in, for him, uh, in, in his mind, he was always uh, 25, irrespective of how old he was. And he used to make uh, plans. Um, I was here from uh, uh, March 15 to April 3rd, just until a few days he passed away. Uh, and he was telling me that, okay, COVID's now finishing, I can now start traveling again. And, and he was telling me all the places that he wanted to go and visit. Uh, so. Um, you know, he, he after he retired uh, uh, from uh, IIP at the age of 60, he went on and built uh, 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 almost a third career as, as an entrepreneur, as a consultant to the industry, uh, and, and, built a, and, and was very successful uh, at it. And most of that time was spent here uh, in Delhi. Uh, and then a couple of other passions of his, he was very involved with Andhra University, which is where he got all his degrees from. Uh, he, he was actively pushing uh, to create the Andhra University Alumni Association. 
Uh, and then uh, throughout his life, but more so especially in uh, the last uh, quarter of his life, uh, Daddy was very involved with uh, philanthropy, with charity. Um, not only did he give away a lot of his own money, but uh, he also forced uh, and found ways to get the public sector companies and all the other companies that he was involved with uh, to support his uh, causes. Um, so, uh, so that's what, you know, given all this, we thought it's worthwhile for us to uh, celebrate his life. I'm sure my father would not have liked us uh, um, to, uh, you know, grieve too long at his departure, but uh, continue on some of the things that he was uh, very passionate about. Um, so with that, uh, what I was hoping to do today is maybe um, uh, we will all uh, uh, observe a moment of silence um, uh, and then I request whoever might be interested to come and uh, put some flowers for my dad and then um, we'll just have, uh, we, we have a few people who I have requested to speak, some have offered to speak, um, maybe everybody can speak for a few minutes. If there are others who would like to come and talk about uh, their interactions with my father, I, I would uh, welcome that, we would welcome that. And, uh, and then we'd request all of you to join us for a cup of tea. Um, so that's what uh, we had uh, planned here, fairly informal uh, uh, meeting uh, here today. So with that, maybe uh, if we can all stand and observe a moment of silence and then uh, we can start this. Thank you very much. Um, so maybe what we can uh, do is, uh, while people are uh, putting some flowers, maybe we can get started with uh, our first speaker. I'd like to invite uh, Mr. C.R. Prasad to come and uh, open this. Uh, Mr. C.R. Prasad is former chairman of uh, Gale, uh, and uh, his association uh, goes back a long time. Uh, he was uh, also with us very recently, so I think he was one of the la uh, one of the few people in the last uh, am amongst his uh, vast network of friends who probably saw him uh, last. With that, so Mr. Prasad Karu, please. Thank you. Dr. Prasad Rav is a multifaceted personality. Though he worked all his life in public sector, but basically he's a scientist. He's a artist in the science. And I came in contact in around 97, 98, when I was chairman of Gale, chairman managing director. We were at that time setting up a huge petrochemical plant in UP, a place called Pata. And we were also expanding LPG plants from two to seven at that time. And we increased to two million tons. And Dr. Prasad Rao took interest. He came and met me. I can do some research projects at Wagodi and Gujarat in LPG plant and petrochemicals. That is how our association started and uh, we have got one energy think tank we have set up 
my colleague Dr. Pathan is here, Dr. Jori Lal, uh, they're all, he's from ONGC, Dr. Pathan is uh, chairman of IOC. And this energy think tank, we recently also we met. Dr. Balyan is here. Yeah. And uh, so in the energy think tank, he used to take a very good interest and come with uh, certain topics. And he's one person he will not keep quiet until he makes his point and appreciate his points and then discuss on that. Very recently, by a coincidence, one day I got a message from here, uh, from Dr. Prasad Rao at that time. His granddaughter Ananya, uh, in South India it is called Arangetram program, the first dance program, Arangetram. In a big hall, Ravindra Bharati in Hyderabad. And he organized for his granddaughter Ananya. And uh, he insisted on the phone, Prasad Garu, you come and bless my granddaughter, she is giving program. I went there and I was sitting with uh, Dr. Prasadra for two hours in that Arangetram program. And uh, it was an excellent program by the girl. Uh, and I was thinking whether she, she has not come here, but she is busy, I think, for some tests and all that. So Ananya gave a good program, that's how, and that time I met Uday also. So I would like to introduce Uday, you know already, Sujata is here, wife, and uh, any other family members? So I know them, and for the information of all of you, Uday, in Houston, he has got his own setup, he is doing a good, dance, uh, excellent uh, material by Gmail and all that, which we can read and get in touch with him. So friends, uh, so Dr. Prasadra was also a member of ETT, and we are also an INAE colleague fellows. I'm a fellow of INAE, and Dr. Prasadra also is a fellow. In INAE also, we used to meet now and then. So this is my contact with him, but uh, he has got a lot of affection for the, our oil and gas companies and all the seniors and all everybody working. He has a lot of affection for particularly IOC, BPC, HPC, ONGC, Gale. He will keep on talking about always. So I would like to convey his multifaceted uh, personality, how he was in touch with us. If I'm not mistaken, would I? He expired on 83, 83 years. That's what that day he was telling me. So I would like to read a few important uh, information about his life. Dr. Prasadra has made pioneering contributions to chemical engineering by developing and commercializing over 10 petroleum refining and petrochemical processes and conducting important research in catalysis. These processes ended adequate supply of petrochemicals and transportation fuels through the growth of India's petroleum refining and petrochemical industries. In spite of an entirely industrial R&D career, Dr. Prasadra made numerous important scientific contributions to catalysis by supported metals, mixed metal oxides and zeolites. The impressive scientific output includes over 100 papers, 50 patents, 3 books, 300 presentations, 250 invited scientists, seminars, sorry, 250 invited seminars and 10 PhD students. It's a wonderful contribution for any scientist. 10 PhD students. He made them PhD holders. Dr. Prasad Rao has enriched the discipline and practice of engineering globally through 
concerted production and execution of technology transfer between India and US and used to bring those people to India and introduce to other colleagues also here, uh, US companies. These include commercializing several US technologies in India from companies such as UOP, some of our colleagues you all know UOP, GTC, Technology and BP. Dr. Prasad Rao has also worked hard to transfer Indian technologies globally. For example, Dr. Prasad Rao successfully licensed several Indian aromatics technologies to U.S. companies. Recently, he founded a unique startup company in India where over 100 scientists search, mine, and analyze patents for more than 35 U.S. and European R&D organizations, including Fortune 500 companies. Dr. Prasadar is particularly admired for his inspirational leadership of R&D institutions. As director of the Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dr. Prasad Rao ended long-standing labor union problems. I also worked in ONGC. I lived there about 10 years in ONGC. This institute used to have labor problems. After Prasad Rao came as head of that, he has resolved those problems amicably with the labor unions. Motivated staff to achieve scientific excellence, increased revenues by 95 times, and established partnerships with companies such as ExxonMobil, EOP, BP, and ABB. Dr. Prasad Rao has been recognized with fellowship of Indian National Academy of Engineering, Indian Academy of Sciences, and Indian Institute of Chemical Engineering and the FIKI. Kamala Kumari, Chemtech, Basin, and AN Saxena Awards. These are all individual awards. Kamala Kumari, that is FIKI. Chemtech, Basin, and AN Saxena Awards. In 2014, the Prime Minister of India awarded Dr. Prasad Rao with the Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to the science, engineering, and technology of oil and gas and energy in India. In 2020, Dr. Prasad Rao was honored with the Lifetime Contribution Award from the Indian National Academy of Engineering, a rare honor for a chemist to win from the country of the premier engineering fellowships. I thought there are some of our colleagues are here. I could see uh, some many seniors and others also. You can see such a personality. But we all know life and death, they are not in the individual hands. But until his last days, he has been working. I want to convey that. And until and we, when I met him in that uh, dance program on 31st March in Hyderabad, he was talking about other things even in between. This is all I want to convey to our colleagues who have come here. And uh, we pray God to give peace off to his soul and take care of him. And we Hindus, we believe that the Atma doesn't die only body dies. Atma goes to the Paramatma. And we always believe there is a Pitru Devata. The seniors who expire, they are all having their own group. They are called Pitru Devata. So with that belief, I think he is going to be, his Atma is going to be active there also with Paramatma. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Prasad Garu. Um, to uh, invite Mr. Uh, M. A. Pathan, uh, he was former chairman of uh, Indian Oil. Um, 
Sir, maybe you can come and say a few words. Mrs. Prasad Rao, Uday, and uh, the well-wishers who have all gathered here. <coughs> My colleague has just now mentioned about innumerable achievement and contribution of Dr. Prasad Rao in his career, which to my mind is unmatchable. And for anybody to contribute to the extent what he has said, he has done. I will just mention a few opportunities that I had and some of his background, which I recall, apart from the whole career, which has been very eloquently presented by Dr. Prasad just now. I came in contact with him going back to over 20 years, almost 22 years. And uh, I remember the time when uh, I was uh, director of marketing. Dr. Vijay Kelkar used to be the Secretary of Petroleum. And once I got a call from Dr. Kelkar saying that uh, Dr. Prasad Rao will be visiting Mumbai and I have asked him to meet you, so will it be possible? So that was the first occasion that I met him, going back to 95 or so. And thereafter, I found him that his contribution, his guidance was par excellence in every field as a scientist. And my colleagues who are here, Dr. Malhotra, Dr. Ramakumar, their associations were very close with him. But as a member of the team and thereafter leading IOC for over five years, I used to always look forward to his visit to the office. And every time that he came, he would come out with some suggestion or advice which was definitely acceptable to the IOC for its implementation. His heart was in one of the, uh, I would say we had, we started Petrotech, I was a founder member, when Fed, it started as a Petro, Petrotech, I was a found, founder chairman at that time for the Petrotech and then we, his heart was in Petrotech so much so that I recall when the decision was made that Petrotech and Petrofed should be merged into Federation of Indian Petroleum Industry. He was the one who was, till the last minute, arguing very vehemently that we should not withdraw the name of Petrotech because that was in his heart. Because petroleum technology, technology was one which was the part I used to consider as a soul, as, as his soul, and he was and he was giving very valuable suggestion, but for the best reason, a decision had to be taken to make this change. As uh, Dr. Prasad mentioned, that uh, whenever we used to hold a meeting, he would, whether he is in De he was in Delhi or Hyderabad or in Houston, he would get connected irrespective of the time, and always contribute to the best of his ability. I have no other words to express that he was an uncomparable and remarkable scientist which we have lost. But uh, may his soul rest in peace and the family members get enough strength to bear this irrepar irreparable loss. And thank you very much for all well-wishers for to have joined here today. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Um, I'd now like to uh, request uh, uh, one of my father's uh, long-standing friends and colleagues, Mr. R.K. Malhotra, to kindly say a few words. Om Shanti. Mrs. Prasada Rao, dear Uday and friends. I have known Dr. 
Prasada Rao for more than 20, 25 years or so. I know him uh, not that closely when he was appointed uh, the director of the Indian Institute of Petroleum. But being in Indian Oil's Research and Development Center, I know uh, as a organization, parallel organization, Dr. Mukhopade was our director and he became director at Indian Institute of Petroleum. The, the closeness between the two institutes grew at that time. And as an outsider, I could see the significant progress at Indian Institute of Petroleum, as uh, Dr. Prasad said, that uh, the many of the problems were resolved at that time in Indian Institute of Petroleum on IR side or uh, implied relation side. But I remember Mr. Gandhi is here with whom I had a long association from the days I joined Indian Oil and he was working in the engine side. Although he was a chemistry and chemical engineering side and petrochemical side, but he had taken so much of interest and uh, you know, made the significant progress on the engine side also, uh, which was my area. So I know that he had made tremendous contribution to the Indian Institute of Petroleum. My uh, relationship with Indian Institute of Petroleum also goes to the extent that I had joined Indian Oil and one year training, uh, I was deputed there for uh, during 1977. But later on, when he became director, there was tremendous change which was brought about in the Indian Institute of Petroleum and four years back I was the chairman of the research council of IIP and I went back. The first thing I was when I was appointed as the chairman of the research council of uh, IIP, I called up Dr. Prasad Rao and uh, took his guidance on how to go about and how to, you know, contribute uh, on the contributions or, or built up on the contributions which he had made long back. Uh, Having said that, that's about Indian Institute of Petroleum. And when I went there for uh, the research council meetings, I could see uh, the people in Indian Institute of Petroleum, those who are in senior leadership at this point of time, remembered him. And uh, the kind of respect which he had uh, got uh, amongst the various directors who had uh, preceded him or succeeded him, I think uh, remarkable respect I could see in people over there. And the driver who drove me from the airport to the Indian Institute of Petroleum guest house also talked about him. And then I immediately, while in the car, I called him up. I said, You're, this driver of Indian Institute of Petroleum is also remembering you. And I also know when he had been staying in Dwarka, the old driver of his at IIP, after his retirement, was working for him here in Dwarka. That's what he told me. And later on, when he was in Delhi, we had... Uh, our uh, friendship had grown. I would not call friendship. He was my mentor or guide. I was a middle level officer at that time when he was director. And then he used to come uh, when I was uh, maybe general manager or executive director at Indian Institute before I joined the board of IOC. And uh, he used to tell me, Malotra, you have to be one day lead this organization. So you do this, you do that. And he used to give a lot of guidance, which I still remember. And when I was director R&D of Indian Oil, he used to come very often and we used to have useful interactions. And I would say that he was a great guide, great mentor, a great human being, people's person, always. And till recently also he used to call every two months or three months when I was in the Federation of Indian Petroleum Industry, he could uh, call up from Hyderabad and my daughter is there. He's, used to tell me whenever you come next but unfortunately during the pandemic I couldn't go to Hyderabad and I had promised him that I will meet but the fate was that he will not be there when I visit Hyderabad next time. So I pray to the God that uh, such a noble soul must rest in peace and may God give strength to the Mrs. Rao, Prasada Rao and uh, the entire family to bear this such an irreparable loss of uh, such a good human being. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share some of my thoughts today. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, one of the things that my father was very passionate about was uh, technology and how to bring that technology to India or 
On the other side, if he saw some interesting technologies in India, he would constantly find ways to take it uh, to the US or uh, to other uh, parts of the world. Um, one of the uh, things that he used to, um, uh, you know, as, 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 a, as a person who runs a consulting firm, I spend a lot of time speaking at conferences or attending conferences for business development in the US. And uh, every time I tell him that, okay, I'm here at this conference, he'll ask me, is there anybody from India? Uh, did you connect with them? Um, and uh, I, I think uh, Prasad Garu mentioned this, that I, 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 I have generally not done a good job of that over the years. But uh, I, I think as you grow older, you start realizing the wisdom that your parents are trying to give you. Uh, and at the World Petroleum Council Congress in, that was held in Houston, I connected with uh, Ram Kumar Garu. And uh, we organized a dinner at our place uh, with uh, uh, Dr. Ram Kumar Garu and uh, uh, Anjan Ray, Dr. Anjan Ray, who's the current director of IIP, a couple of other colleagues from Indian Oil. And I also invited a lot of other uh, people from India who are working for uh, oil and gas companies in Houston. Uh, and first I thought it will be a dinner for a couple of people. Uh, then my dad sent me a long list of people who are coming from India. Uh, and then uh, I started adding and slowly it became a list of 25 uh, people. But it was one of the most uh, memorable uh, dinners that I have hosted in a very long time. Um, so uh, that is how I had the opportunity to meet uh, Dr. Ram Kumar Garu and I'm grateful that he's here. I'd like you to, sir, please come and uh, say a few words. Srimati Sujata Prasad Garu, dear Uday, and all the dignitaries. Uh, I never worked directly with uh, Prasad Rao Garu. I never had the op uh, opportunity or fortune uh, to work with him directly, but uh, I always consider myself as uh, Ekalavya Shishya of. Uh, uh, Dr. Prasad Rao, because uh, for any of us chemists who are remotely, even remotely uh, concerned with uh, catalysis and uh, the field of catalysts, for us, uh, Dr. Prasad Rao is an Indian cult figure and an iconic figure. So that's how uh, we used to treat him even from our college days. Uh, being an Andhraite and uh, knowing that Dr. Prasadara was also from Andhra, uh, that used to give special inspiration in our hearts that uh, here is a figure whom we can follow, whom we can uh, uh, follow his foots, uh, footsteps uh, to grow up in the profession that you have chosen for yourself. So he has always been a beacon light and a role model uh, for me. Uh, my first direct interaction with uh, Prasad Rao Garu was uh, as a jury member, and I was uh, making a presentation. Uh, in those days, it used to be called as National Management uh, uh, Program, NPMP. National Management Program, uh, uh, it used to give annual awards for uh, the technologies uh, developed in the area of uh, petroleum field. So I think it was in uh, 1998, um, we made an entry on uh, developing indigenous uh, marine lubricants and he was one of the jury members. So. I had all the tough time uh, to face him, uh, to face a barrage of his questions, though it was not uh, his direct field. It was, I mean, I was presenting on lubricants, and he is a man of catalysis. But uh, the core scientist uh, in him uh, uh, has probed several aspects of the discovery, and uh, you won't believe that uh, I made the presentation, came back, and. Uh, in the evening, I, I never know him. 
Yeah. He knows that I am from Indian Oil after that presentation. I was from Indian Oil R&D and uh, in the evening I got a call from him. Uh, how he got the number and I am too junior for him. He is an iconic figure, said that you did so well. And uh, as a jury member, I can't say anything more than this. So uh, wait for some good news. So uh, that was that was the kind of uh, mm, persona what uh, Prasad Ravgaru was. And from then onwards, I think uh, he was uh, directing me, guiding me, interacting me, interacting with me uh, on several occasions. Uh, in fact, uh, I used to receive his elderly child uh, for on many things. His one mantra to me was, as I am growing up the ladder in the organization, that uh, I should be aggressive in my approach uh, of both technology development and technology commercialization. He used to uh, he used to use so many tips how to cut short the product development cycle and how to take forward uh, TRL-7 technology to uh, TRL-9 or the goalpost. So, uh, uh, like Uday said that uh, uh, we both have a commonality of being uh, alumni of Andhra University. So, in his later day career and I think uh, as recent as two years or three years back, he was asking me that as Indian Oil, as the board member of Indian Oil, you should uh, contribute for the cause of Andhra University and uh, let there be a special chair of IOC uh, set up in Andhra University. That's what uh, he used to advise me. And um, I'm extremely sad today not to, that he is no more in physical uh, presence, but eventually Indian Oil set up a, a chair, professorial chair in Andhra University. Just uh, this year, uh, uh, I couldn't share that uh, news with him, which m must have been uh, must uh, must have pleased him actually. In Delhi Telugu Academy here in Delhi also in Delhi Telugu Sangam annual uh, functions, uh, uh, he used to be very active. Um, recently, I was after uh, his departure. Uh, Anjan Ray uh, invited me uh, to be the foundation day speaker for Indian Institute of Petroleum uh, Dehradun. I was in fact on 14th April, I was in uh, Dehradun uh, to deliver uh, the foundation day lecture and uh, very aptly uh, Dr. Anjan Ray named the foundation day lecture series from this year onwards as TSR Prasadara uh, Memorial Lecture Series. And I had the great fortune of uh, delivering the first uh, uh, Dr. TSR Prasadara's Foundation Day Lecture Series uh, in Dehradun in IAP. Uh, regarding his leadership in uh, of uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun, um, many of my seniors have just talked about how charismatic he was, how uh, aggressive he was, how transformational his leadership was for IAP. Till the time he assigned, as Dr. Malhotra was also mentioning, till the time he assigned the directorship of uh, uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum. Indian Institute of Petroleum is supposed to be the mother institute of uh, all petroleum uh, technology related institutions in this country. But along the way, I think uh, it started becoming a little quaint, if I may have to use that word. But I think uh, Dr. Prasad Rao's assuming the office as director of uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum has really galvanized and IIP could able to revisit and uh, revisit its past glory. And uh, it was again in the forefront. At that point of time, when I when I joined uh, uh, Indian Indian Oil R and D Center, some I I I'm from Roorkee, the then University of Roorkee, and many of my uh, colleague uh, scholars and students they joined uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun, and uh, I joined uh, Indian Oil R and D, and oftentimes we used to meet and exchange uh, the 
the functioning style of uh, respective institutes because we were young and we used to say aapke institute mein kaisa hota hai hamare institute both are r and d institutes so uh, as dr malhotra was mentioning even driver was mentioning about uh, the uh, benevolence of dr prasad rao i used to interact with my colleagues who were either uh, research scholars or maybe junior scientists in iip they used to go on and on uh, uh, singing pians about uh, their director though they were they were just scientists b or maybe uh, maybe senior research scholars but they used to say that he used to interact with them motivate them and he used to give the target that you deliver this you do this particular uh, if the result comes like this i'll see to it that i'll send you to this international conference that's the kind of uh, uh, target uh, he used to give uh so i think we'll be missing him as uday said that uh, he may not be liking any of us uh, grieving so much or uh, uh, about his absence um but nevertheless uh, we'll be feeling the void after the dinner uday uh, normally the usual complaint with me to prasad rao garu was i i was not talking to him quite often that used to be his complaint so i told you also i think after coming back after coming back i called him and he was so almost we spoke about half an hour he was so happy that uh, i could uh, meet you and your community in houston and uh, um, discussed various uh, uh, possible and prospective collaborative ventures and he had all the suggestions and i couldn't believe when i got the news uh, just after two uh, two months that uh, uh, he's not any more among us uh, among ourselves um, in 2020 when dr prasad rao was awarded the lifetime achievement award of uh, uh, indian national academy of engineers i had the great fortune of receiving my fellowship uh on on the same year and we shared the same frame because it was not a physical function at the peak of the covid uh it was an online function where we were conferred with the fellowship i felt so fortunate that uh, uh i was in the same frame of uh, what my icon was uh who one who was receiving the uh, lifetime achievement award and i was elected as a fellow and both had the rare distinction as prasad garu was mentioning both of us are chemists no where near engineering and we could able to uh, g- g- get into that elite uh, engineering community so i think uh, i have an eternal regret that uh, after assuming uh, the directorship of uh, indian oil r&d i kept on inviting him that uh, next time when you are in delhi by the time i think uh, he shifted to hyderabad or maybe his uh, stay in delhi was uh, limited so i used to invite him that whenever you are in delhi please let me know and uh, please come and visit our r&d center and uh, advise us on uh, uh, what more to be done and how the center is shaping up so that regret uh, remains with me for our that uh, he couldn't visit in my tenureship as director uh, of r&d so with these uh, some of these sweet memories uh, his work his guidance his spirit uh, his guidance uh, will always be there it will be all pervading uh, to all of us with these few words i once again um, pray lord almighty to grant uh, rightful place to dr tsr prasad rao in his heavenly abode thank you very much namaste thank you sir uh, my father had a complaint uh, pretty much uh, for everybody that they were not calling him enough uh, i i used to call my father every day uh, at 8:30 in the morning uh but ev- you know once in a while i'd miss and the very next day he'd said you're not calling me nowadays um so uh, i i understand uh, what what you're saying i'd i'd like to invite uh, dr jauri lal to come and say a few words uh, one of the things that uh, my father was very good at was expanding 
um, uh, anything that he touched, right? Uh, conceptually, he was director of Indian Institute of Petroleum, which was primarily a downstream oil and gas focused organization. There's nothing that he has to do that the Institute had to do with ONGC, but he built very deep relationships with ONGC, uh, with Gale and, and a lot of these other organizations. Uh, so I'm hoping that Dr. Jorilal can talk a little bit about his experiences and interactions with my father. Thank you, Uday. Uh, respected uh, Mrs. Prasad Rao, will you wish up, uh, Dr. Prasad Rao? Though it is a very sad occasion, but at the same time, we are here to commemorate his memories, very fond memories, as mentioned by many of the speakers earlier. He was a multifaceted personality. It's very, very difficult to find words to describe his personality. I happened to meet him about 30 years back. We were together in Dehradun. He was in IAP, I was in ONGC. And uh, it was not a technical meet. We used to meet very often uh, in the social meets. Mr. Prasad Rao used to be there. And uh, one of the faces about his uh, social meeting, socialized with the people, his constitution society. And this is where we meet each other. And since then, uh, we were good friends. He used to call me quite often. On festivals, we used to exchange uh, our greetings. His contribution has been mentioned by Dr. Prasad and Patan Sahab to the oil sector. And uh, many of us, we are here, including Dr. Balyan. His contribution through the patriotic, when we created the founder members of uh, Mr. Bhattan is here, Dr. Basad is here, here. And uh, though he was not from the oil sector as such, but he was invited as one of the founder members in 95. And uh, since then, his contribution to the oil sector has increased immensely, particularly in designing the patriotic, the international conferences, and uh, I don't think there was any conference where uh, he was not there, one of the speakers. And uh, eventually, he was awarded this uh, Lifetime Achievement Award by the, uh, the Prime Minister. His love for his village, as you mentioned, was great. I remember it was uh, 2002. Uh, we organized, not from ONGC, but uh, one of the NGO, uh, Anugra, I was the president, the International uh, Conference on Aging. And uh, from about uh, 15 uh, foreign countries, a delegation had come. And a uh, number of uh, the ministers had come to speak on that uh, uh, meeting. The last day, we had to give some awards for the people who were uh, aged and still doing a great job. We had invited uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar as the uh, chief guest. And then that occasion, because we used to interact a lot with uh, Dr. Prasad, and uh, he mentioned that uh, there is one person in his village Though I think he's 90 plus, but he's doing a great job. And he said that, okay, you include him. So from his village, we invited him. Arrest all the way he has come to Delhi. And along with the then um, Padmabhushan 
कर्नल वाही आसो पंडित श्री दर्जासवन स्वामी सुंदरानंद दो ही बिलोंग्स टू नेलोर बट ही स्पेंड अराउंड सेवेंटी इयर्स इन द हिमालयास लास्ट ईयर ही एक्सपायर्ड एट द एज ऑफ नाइन्टी फोर पंडित बरजू महाराज पद्म भूषण सो दिस पर्सन फ्रॉम हिज विलेज वॉज इन्वाइटेड एज गिवन द अवार्ड ही वॉज वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड देन ही वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग फॉर हिज विलेज सो वी हैड कंडेटेड सम हेल्थ कैंप इन हिज विलेज our team has gone when he got this uh, lifetime of team is award i think about 8 uh, or 10 lakhs were given to him and he wanted to i i want to help your organization uh after my retirement in 2003 we are running a ngo doing a lot of uh, i camps in all over the country and we had an around 65000 catered operations He used to help us. I said, "No, you do something for your village." So uh, his love for the village was very much. The person he was also well known. I remember that uh, few years back, I had some work, and then he took me to the present vice president of India, and he was so close that. Uh, I think we had tea and we spent about um, 20, 25 minutes uh, with the at that time. So he was uh, well respected and well say, regarded. Though he is no more, but his memories are there. As Mr. Patan mentioned, that uh, he was he was very passionate. What something likes, he will go on putting his point of view. and whenever there is meeting uh, when prasad rao was there i said okay now it is very very lovely though he was very passionate his voice you know very but uh, he never used to lose cool and he will go on talking and putting his point of view so he was a very passionate about uh, a very touching person when he used to meet he when he used to talk see very very affectionate looks a very very close and this was with uh, everybody we have lost a great friends but he has left number of memories and uh, as dr prasad mentioned that term naivam shastam chiddanti naivam dahati pavaka na hanyate hanye mane sharire I remember that uh, last uh, Ram Navmi, he sent a very beautiful message, describing about uh, Rama and Sita like this. Is. So he was the personality like this. Let's pray that his soul rest in peace. Thank you, sir. I'd like to invite Dr. Balian. I believe he is here. Okay, there he is. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't see you earlier, but I'd like to you to come and say a few words. Respected uh, Mrs. Uh, Rao, with a colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as a as a scientific community i think we really lost a a, a wonderful person um i came in contact with uh, mr rao when i joined the board of ongc and had the responsibility for um business development downstream projects there and uh, that time we had just acquired mrpl also mangalore refinery so there were a lot of projects that were planned expansions and all and uh, our chairman that time mr raha uh, invited mr rao to be part of this initiative and he used to be kind of a member of our uh, uh, advisory committee where he used to uh, really come up with wonderful suggestion that um 
whether we, we formed a at that time a kind of a association with some um, big companies, uh, multinationals like Shell. I remember we had uh, MRPL, ONGC, Shell. Um, we had detailed discussions and identified about a dozen projects, um, starting from even uh, modifying tar with mixing with rubber for roads and all to high tech kind of a projects there. And I can uh, say that there was a tremendous contribution from Mr. Rao. I mean, he, is, he was a born scientist. Anything that was there, uh, his, his inputs would be there and so ready to really participate and, and come up with suggestion. Not only suggestions, and he would really follow it up also on that. Um, I, I really miss him because um, uh, we, we talked about so several other projects uh, in ONGC, um, a petrochemicals project that time, one of the biggest petrochemicals perhaps now in the country, Opal, and the associated uh, uh, projects on that. I, I think he had added tremendous value to all our decisions there and came up with uh, uh, unique suggestions uh, for the industry. And um, not only as a scientist, I think I, I would write to describe him as a, as a wonderful person also, a very positive person, a very, uh, I would say, a, a pleasing personality where you would really uh, motivate you a lot to do something. That was great. I mean, there are scientists uh, who, who can just give idea and that's all, but he would follow it up. He would uh, uh, ask for feedback and also motivate you to keep on doing this thing. Um, I think the scientific community and particularly in the in the oil sector, uh, uh, people will remember him for a long time. Uh, anybody in the oil and gas sector, in the R&D particularly, I think will remember him for a long time for his wonderful contributions. Um, and I think he was involved in all facets of downstream projects uh, in the country. I personally had a uh, lot of interactions with him. Uh, uh, even when we had shifted, I had shifted to Petronet LNG. Uh, and uh, we have a forum here, uh, the WhatsApp forum, one of the most active person here with the real good suggestion. Till the last day, I'm amazed actually that hardly uh, you have people who, who are so active in, in really very communicating, discussing high quality work on, on, on even on WhatsApp is really amazing. I like to pay my tributes to such a fine scientist. We have lost a, a wonderful person, but I think his his association and all would linger on for memories for years. And I wish that his soul attains Sadgati and the family may please uh, bear the loss of that. Noshka. Thank you, Dr. Balian. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Ajay Deshpande. Um, he uh, was associated with my dad for a long time uh, through his own career at EIL, and I'd like him to say a few words. Mrs. Prasad Rao, <coughs> Mrs. Prasad Rao, Dr. Uday, all the well wishes of Dr. T.S.R. Prasad Rao who are present today. <coughs> Dr. Prasad Rao was undoubtedly a towering personality, if measured by the level of his vast knowledge and long string of accomplishments concerning catalysis and other areas which have been mentioned today. But at the same time, a very humble and modest human being to interact and connect with. This is the very reason that I dare to stand up before the August gathering of today to reminisce my interactions with him, also emboldened by the warmth he always exuded whenever we interacted, either in person or any other manner. The first meeting with him has always been a moment to cherish for me. In 1985-86, I was asked by my Profes process divisional head 
to go and meet him, an expert in catalysis, at the IPCL's R&D center in Baroda, to learn from him about the developments being done on catalytic reforming and other aromatic catalysts, as part of the joint technology development program, which was put in place by Dr. S. Ganguly, who was a common chairman of EIL and IPCL at that time. The purpose was to assess the development completed by IPCL till then and showcase EIL's readiness and capability to perform reactor and complete unit design and engineering based on the catalyst steel and other performance parameters. As I was standing outside his cabin, having reached the IPCL Baroda R&D Center, trying to catch his attention to know when it would be appropriate for me to enter in, you know, such was the persona that Dr. Prasad had, I couldn't muster up the courage to enter his cabin directly. So he gestures warmly to come in. Hey, young man, you no need to stand out and wait outside. Just walk in. This warmth of his addressing me remained the hallmark of our relationship and it became more personal later on to hey Ajay how are you doing and what's new at your end not only did EL and IPCL have a very successful association on all the catalytic reforming uh, catalytic aromatic processes con covering reforming isomerization and transalkylation during this tenure at IPCL and thereafter there were commercial designs also implemented involving replacement of imported catalysts with IPCL developed versions in IPCL's own units, closely meeting or matching the performance of the imported catalyst. After IPCL, he continued and further strengthened his association with oil and gas and petroleum industry, as has been said by everyone, when he took up the reins of IIP as its director. There were several key areas where he contributed immensely, which others have mentioned, and the EIL-IIP joint portfolio of technology offerings also became much stronger during his tenure over there. It was, however, after his retirement and during my stint as director on EIL's board that our bomb really became stronger. The Lavraj Kumar Memorial Trust became an additional meeting ground for our common interest and he supported and encouraged many an initiative that I took for promoting the trust's activities. Observing my interest in R&D and technology development, he asked me one day if I would like to apply for the fellowship of the INAE. I asked him frankly, knowing fully well what the INAE comprises of uh, in terms of fellowship, I asked him frankly if he considered me worthy of even applying for it, let alone being considered for its award. Absolutely, why not, Ajay? INAE indeed will be privileged to have a director technical of EIL as their fellow. I am sure do fill in the form that I am sending you and I will be the proposer for your application. The fellowship award, uh, Dr. Prasad was the uh, seconder for my application. The fellowship award did not come immediately in the same year, but when it did eventually, he was more happy a person than even I was. It made me feel happier that I was able to justify his, own conf his confidence in me. After my superannuation from EIL, when I applied and was selected for the visiting professorship role being offered by INAE as a part of their uh, internal programs, he was the first person with whom I shared the news and he complimented me for having taken up a role to strengthen the industry academia link, something which was closest to his heart as well. Dr. Prasad Rao was a scholar and a researcher par excellence, but he was a human being of outstanding quality and unmatched humility, modesty with ease of access that endeared him to the vast majority of chemical scientists and chemical engineers, both within the oil and gas fraternity as well as outside it. I will immensely miss him, but so also will the large family of his well-wishers here and elsewhere, including mentees to whom he was a mentor par excellence. I can well imagine the loss suffered by his family and particularly Uday, to whom he was not just a father, but a professional mentor, philosopher, and guide. They do not make personalities like him anymore. Thank you for blessing us with his presence in our life.
Thank you very much, sir. I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Rajendra Prasad, from, uh, who's a long-standing friend of my father from CSIR and colleague. So, uh, sir, please. Mr. Prasad Rao, over there, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, 8th of April last month, this day was a great watershed for all of us here in CSIR when we got this shocking news. We have a WhatsApp group. Uh, created some four years ago, where most of uh, the retired CSR scientists and senior directors, even director generals are members. And when we got this news, it was uh, a really very big shock for all of us. Losing such an active member who was a fatherly figure to many of us all of a sudden sent shock waves and most of us were left speechless. Condolences messages started flowing in and many of us could not even s properly sleep since messages crisscross in the country were being exchanged till midnight. All of us wondered uh, what the family is planning for the funeral. I could find email of Uday from one of his uh, one of uh, Dr. Prasad Rao's earlier emails, so I uh, sent him a short email asking about the program. Fortunately, uh, he replied quickly and saying that the message, the, uh, the funeral uh, will be taking place in the ancestor uh, village, Avidi. And uh, we, we were keen to send uh, a flower wreath uh, from our side uh, on the body of our beloved leader, but we couldn't manage that. But we sent some flowers when the family reached back in, uh, uh, in Hyderabad. So, uh, <coughs> about two years ago, uh, there was a request from some of the members that we should create a discussion board uh, to discuss since we are all scientists in the group. So I created a, a platform on my website, my personal website, uh, uh, which was most uh, actively participated by many senior directors among them. And Dr. Prasadara was the most active. And he contributed a number of stories, you know, about his relationship with uh, even uh, late Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee and uh, P.V. Narsima Rao, and so on. So we have chronicled uh, those stories in our uh, Srishti platform. I'll maybe uh, read some of those uh, 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 portions uh, just to highlight his uh, uh, persona, you know, on the personal front, uh, personal side. <coughs> I also uh, uh, compiled, you know, what our CSR uh, family members' uh, mm, uh, condolences message they sent uh, in our WhatsApp group. And when I, uh, when I started uh, my compilation, uh, it just came out uh, uh, representing a shock in somewhat philosophical tone. So I started, I said, Aur hum jhuke jhuke, mod par ruke ruke. उम्र के चढ़ाव का उतार देखते रहे, कार्मा गुजर गया गुबार देखते रहे, and then we paid our tributes to Dr. Prasad Rao. I'll read out uh, some of the uh, uh, messages uh, which uh, some of our members uh, wrote on that side. This one is from Dr. R. M. Shilkar. He writes, deeply shocked and grieved to hear that Prasad Rao is no more. His last communication with me was to invite me as a chief guest for the 
Arangetram for his granddaughter in Hyderabad, <coughs> which I could not unfortunately attend. Kind, gracious, joyful, always helpful, a true team man, as well as a leader, his contribution to IIP and CSAR would be remembered forever and ever. We were close friends from the IPCL days, almost over five decades, spoke to one of his family members just now, and will speak to Uday, his son, once he lands today. CFG will be always beholden to him for always holding us together, gently but firmly. <coughs> Our collective <coughs> heartfelt condolences to his beloved family. We pray to the Almighty God that May, that may his noble soul rest in peace. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. I can't read. We have another director, Dr. Disa. He writes uh, in a very subtle tone. He writes, this is a sad <coughs> Friday indeed. He kept CFG together, fatherly in word, wise, and yet a colleague. When he thought you would need it, he would phone. <coughs> so accomplished, yet with enough time for everyone. May his soul rest in peace and continue to inspire us. Goodbye, Dr. TSR. We have another colleague, uh, Dr. Bojwani, many of you may be knowing. He was very close to Dr. Prasad Rao. He writes, absolutely devastated to learn that our dear friend is no more. He was the charm and binding glue of the CFG, a personal friend to, excuse me. A personal friend to all and everyone in CFG, calling and inquiring about their interests. He was a human being par excellence affable, generous, and caring even for the humblest person that he <coughs> knew. Then we have Dr. Prakash, the former director of uh, CFTRI, uh, Mysore. He writes, he was the nerve center of CFG and also many directors meetings during Dr. Mashelka's time as DGCSAR. All those snapshots flew across in front of me before I r write these lines as I in silence remembered the man. We have lost a very, very close friend and a live wire indeed. <coughs> the family must be in deep shock. May God give them lots of strength to bear his huge loss. Then we had a, a very senior person in our planning division, Dr. Bhargav. He writes, very, very sad to learn the devastating news that a gem, a fine, exemplary human being is no more. I had gone to IIP to welcome him to CSAR family and assure him all help and cooperation from the headquarters. Such a kind and loving soul, ever ready to everyone in need. He silenced <coughs> all the groupism in IIP, giving meaningful turn to research programs also acted as director of CBRA for a few months. Great man with a great vision. Personal loss to all of us. Two years ago when we established this uh, discussion board, Srishti, <coughs> our former director general, Dr. S.K. Joshi, uh, expired. And Dr. Prasandara was very close to him almost like a personal friend. So he wrote uh, in memory of Dr. Joshi. So this is uh, Dr. Prasad Rao. <coughs> he writes, it's really devastating news. I spoke to his wife today in the evening only. She told me that <coughs> he went to Ames two days back and since last two days, mostly he was sleeping. I never thought that this news comes to us just a few hours after I talked to her, so sad. For the CSR family, it's a big shock and a terrific loss. <coughs> and uh, we celebrated uh, something uh, like a memory uh, reminiscence after 10th day of 
Dr. Joshi's death. Again, uh, Dr. Prasadha Rao wrote in a very long note. I'll not read the complete one, but I'll read some uh, excerpts from it. So, Prasadha Rao. So, Dr. Prasadha Rao writes about Dr. Joshi after his uh, death, ten, uh, after 10 days. Today, 24th May 2020, is the 10th day of his passing away, which is the last day of the mourning period. According to our Indian tradition, family members and kith and kin pay their last tributes on this day. So in his tribute, he says, uh, <coughs> I like to record here my memoirs with this great person. In the year 1920, 1992, I sent a proposal to Oil Industry Development Board for the lump sum grant of rupees 10 crores for IIP for modernization of laboratories. On one morning, around 11 a.m., I got a call from the office of Captain Satish Sharma, who was the Minister for Petroleum at that time. His PS called me in those days. The minister himself was the chairman of OIDB. His secretary told me on the phone, Prasad Ji, Minister Sahab told me to inform you that he is going to approve your proposal today in OIDB meeting. He wants that someone should come and uh, come here and collect the proposal and get signed by the Director General and return to our office by 2 p.m. So that was the dilemma uh, Dr. Prasad Rao had. And that day happened to be 26th of September, and uh, which is the foundation day of CSIR. He writes that that day happened to be 26th September, CSIR Foundation Day. Professor Joshi Saab <coughs> was on the dais with President Shankar Dayal Sharmaji. Now, how to get his signature within an hour? That was a question. So he tried uh, to persuade the uh, people around uh, who were managing the stage show, and somehow he sent the proposal to Dr. Joshi on the table when the president was sitting uh, next to him. He read it with his slip uh, and immediately signed and returned. And the job was done. So he is expressing his gratefulness to the director general, how great he was, how kind he was. So that was his persona. <coughs> the same day, IIP got 10 crores, and that changed the a laboratory for the good. <coughs> when he when he met uh, the director general later, he 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 asked for apology. Then he said, "No, you, no apology. In fact, I should be grateful to you that you sent this message, and that was important because for the organization, this is more important rather than the celebrations and other things." On reading this uh, uh, note from Dr. Prasad Rao, Dr. Bhojwani writes, Dr. Rao, while reading this, I had tears in my eyes. Yes, indeed, he was the finest human being. I have had the privilege to work with him. His humility hid his grit and courage. That was about Dr. Joshi. Then uh, Dr. Prasad Rao also writes uh, about his uh, interaction with uh, Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao, when he got an award uh, from his hand. He writes, Honorable late Shri P.V. Narasimha Rao Ji enters into his birth centenary today that we call as Satta Jayanti. On this occasion, I recall my interaction with him and like to pay my tribute. I recall with a sense of gratitude when I received the coveted Fiki Award in September 1993 from his benevolent hands. <coughs> then he points out to the picture uh, where uh, P. V. Narsimha Rao is uh, giving the award to uh, Dr. Prasad Rao. 
and he says, uh, look at this picture, P. V. Narasimha Rao, Dr. Rao, Dr. Sadhar Rao, and said, you need another award because you made the Prime Minister smile. <laughs> and, that, and many reporters also made the similar comment. Then he also goes on further writing about uh, the qualities of P. V. Narasimha Rao. He says, uh, I may briefly mention the economic reforms he brought into the country. He saved the country from go going bankrupt. He was also first one as prime minister who increased rural budget five times. He also changed the name of the Ministry of Education to Ministry of Human Resource Development, bringing a focus on human beings as a resource. He was a linguistic scholar par excellence, knowing many languages at the same time. On his Satya Jayanti today, I remember him fondly and pay my tributes to him. Very lately, uh, last uh, March, he wrote uh, a note uh, on Atal Ji, Atal Bihari Bajpayee. He writes, Atal Ji was a different character. He always respected members of the opposition and opposition leaders. He had special regards for P.V. Narasimha Rao. Let me write a brief interaction I have had with Atalji. Congress and P.V. Garu family organized a prayer meeting in Delhi to pay homage to P.V. Garu on his first Jayanti. I was also invited and I attended the meeting. I sat in the last row. After a while, Atalji silently walked into the meeting room and sat next to me in the last row. We spoke for a few minutes and asked him why he was sitting in the last row while he should, be, he should have been on the dais as a former prime minister. And then I got up, reached the organizers to inform them about his presence among the, amongst us. Atalji tried to stop him, but he went ahead and then caught uh, P.V. Prabhakara Rao, the youngest son of uh, P.V. Narasimha Rao. And uh, uh, Atalji was then taken to the dais in front. So that is the humility and simplicity of our great Atalji. That, that's what Dr. Sadara says. So like this, uh, uh, we have many stories in our Srishti platform. I have also chronicled uh, his uh, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. I will not read it, which all you know. So I think uh, this is all I wanted to say. Last, lastly, I would like to add that last November I was in Hamburg uh, with my son. And when I arrived there in, uh, on 8th of November precisely, they were organizing uh, Hamburg India Week. Uh, it seems uh, there are quite a few Indians in Hamburg. Many of uh, the relations of uh, uh, Subhash Chandra Bose and others and uh, there, uh, it was a week-long program, many, many uh, events. There was one uh, seminar on energy, which I went and attended. And uh, they were talking about uh, green hydrogen. And uh, of course, uh, it's very visible. If you go and see in Germany, they are changing the whole uh, energy landscape with uh, wind turbines and whatnot. And, uh, the interesting part was there that uh, Germany and India wants to have collaboration in green energy. G Germany says that if India produces enough uh, green energy, they will buy, they will give the technology. And this is what I, <laughs> I spoke to Dr. Prasad Rao, that uh, now time has changed. You know, when I, I was head of the international in CSIR, I promoted uh, uh, almost 50 projects uh, with G Germany in electronics, in oceanography, in aerospace, but not in energy. Uh, be just before my retirement, I wanted to have some programs, but I couldn't succeed. And here, it was the opportunity when Germany himself was coming to India to make this happen. So I spoke to Dr. Prasad Rao, and he was so excited. He said, you come back, we will do something. But sorry, nothing could <laughs> No, the time has not permitted us. 
But this is all I, I think I wanted to share. Uh, it's all on the personal side. And uh, we pray to the God for, the, uh, for his soul to rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, uh, we we have to end this at 12.30, so I'm uh, running short on time here. I, I personally would obviously love to uh, stay here and, and listen uh, to uh, what a lot of his colleagues have to say. Uh, so m maybe um, what I'll uh, request is uh, maybe uh, keep, keep your comments short. I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Alok Saxena. He has been a long-standing uh, colleague uh, uh, of, of my father in multiple organizations, uh, Dr. Saxena. Mrs. Rao, Uday, and all the August gathering. Yes, we are here to share our memories with Dr. Rao, which have been long with us. During such delicate time, for the close family, those who are facing the loss, need something to come out of the shock. And I pray to Almighty to give strength to the family and close, Uday and Mrs. Rao, to come out of the shock, though time can only heal this. This is, this gathering, confirms that how close he was to all of us. All the deliberation and all the uh, talks clearly mentions that everybody knew him personally. Th this is, I think, what, is his, what was his art or his, he was master at how he used to establish the personal connect with everybody. I feel privileged that I worked with him for more than 30 years and I first time I met him in 1991 after he joined as director IAP in 1990. Many of you mentioned how the things changed after that. It was his charisma. But I still recall my first meeting when he joined I was in France, IFP France working on some project and I, I came back after three months and took appointment from his secretary that I want to meet him. I had certain thoughts, I will go to his office, introduce myself, tell him what I have been doing. And when I opened his door, he, hey Alok, I think same tone, what you just now told. Uh, hey Alok, when did you come? I have been waiting for you. I have a lot of plans for IIP to do now and I am sure you will help me. So this, this is the connect which he, est he established in the first meeting and that I can never forget. I think all of us share the same feeling, same thoughts and what I am giving you basically a frog's eye view and all of you gave the bird's eye view about him, about his persona as he was known from the industry from outside. But with this perception, I had long association with him. I worked with him on various projects. I was actually there was a Indian delegation to Egypt and he led that delegation. I was fortunate to be the part of that delegation and the delegation uh, signed some agreements with Egypt at that time which was organized by Department of Science and Technology. I have some videos. Uh, but I could not project here. But it is really, it, all those memories come to us when, when I was going through my album while th thinking what to talk and how to structure my talk. <coughs> it was really a great association with him. He was not only a guardian figure for IIP, but also hmm, he was well known in industry. All those, uh, 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 Mr. Prasad already mentioned that Gail, there was a lot of activity and I was a part of that team when we worked on LPG unit in Vagodia, <laughs> design, commission, all those things we did and it was his leadership which brought this activity to IIP 
and we could develop and took proud <laughs> took pride of this while working on these activities <coughs> of course iip took a big leap in his leadership and i was lucky to be a part of his team and uh, uh, i co uh, continued to get his guidance even after that his pr was really excellent he used to call me every alternate week if i don't receive a call and i think let me call him now i will receive his phone and even if you try to call him it is difficult to find his phone it was mostly busy maybe he is discussing i think all your connect and uh, discussion with him confirms that he was always busy even sitting at home and co coordinating with the entire industry and trying to see how the things can grow and how the things can change i think he was that's correct he was working till his last days uh, last time i talked to him was i think 31st march this year that time he told me mm -hmm. uh, that function of his granddaughter uh, when she graduated in, in bharatnatyam has gone well but why didn't you come i told him yeah i was busy though he asked me to come for that and i, I had plans but i could not go uh, but i'll come soon hmm. i told him i'll come soon i think this had, this is on 2nd or 3rd april i talked to him and but right now it is too late uh, to meet him now i i think i missed that opportunity to last meeting him Uh, last I met him in 1918 when I was in Hyderabad in connection with some meditation. Uh, we have ashram there. At that time I I met him. After that, because of COVID, travels were restricted. We could not meet him. But now it is too late, and we certainly miss all of us miss him. Uh, <coughs> this uh, uh, last meeting, he told me that. whenever you come bring this some he has some special th specific thing from this area you bring it i was telling i i certainly bring it but i i don't know when will it be possible <laughs> this is really bad i am missing his calls i have not received any calls for the last one and a half month this is really painful anyway it's a part of life we have to live it and let us see how we can come out of this situation this only time can heal it up thanks i think that's all i wanted to tell and i really i was really lucky to be closely associated with him and he mentored me he was my he was a guardian figure for me as and i consider it as a personal loss thank you thank you uh, dr saxena i'd like to invite uh, mr suleiman um he has been involved with the uh, andhra university alumni association and uh, i request you to share some thoughts mrs rao uh, and well wishers and uh, friends of Dr. Rao, good good afternoon, all of you. I was honored to have association with uh, the towering personality, octogenarian, Dr. Rao, as a uh, you know office bearer in the Andhra University Alumni Association, Delhi chapter. I am Dr. Sheikh Suleiman. presently i am a general manager in edsel india limited under the ministry of education in fact i did my mba and phd from andhra university and 4 uh, years 3 years back we organized a very good event in andhra bhavan that is uh, andhra city alumni meet the delhi chapter during that time i was uh, associated with him and uh, i learned many things from him and uh, in fact uh, he always used to tell me i utter in, uh, that word in telugu suleiman garu manu edo okati manu andhra university ki edo okati cheyali adi kuda 
శాశ్వతంగా సస్టైనబుల్గా ఉండేటట్టు చేయాలి అదేంటంటే ఒక రీసెర్చ్ సెంటర్ లాంటిది ఏమైనా పెడితే అది బాగుంటుందని చెప్పారు సో ఐ ట్రాన్స్లేట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఆల్సో ఐ థింక్ మెనీ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ నాట్ తెలుగు సి ఆల్వేస్ యూస్ టు టెల్ మీ దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ వన్ రీసెర్చ్ సెంటర్ ఇన్ ఆంధ్ర యూనివర్సిటీ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ది స్టూడెంట్ కమ్యూనిటీ నవే డేస్ ద ది కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ రీసెర్చ్ ఇస్ డే బై డే డిటరియేటింగ్ ఇన్ ది స్టేట్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ ఈ యూస్ టు టెల్ అది సో నవ్ ఐ థింక్ రీసెంట్లీ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ నామినేటెడ్ యాజ్ ఎ ఆనరీ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ది ఆంధ్ర యూనివర్సిటీ ఇన్ ది డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ పాలిటిక్స్ అండ్ పబ్లిక్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ నవ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు ఇన్ఫార్మ్ యూ దట్ వన్ డే వి ఆర్గనైజ్ వన్ మెమోరియల్ లెక్చర్ అన్న డాక్టర్ రావు సార్ బికాస్ ద కమ్ ప్రజెంట్ జనరేషన్ షుడ్ నో హీస్ కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్స్ హీస్ రీసెర్చ్ వర్క్ ద యంగ్ రీసెర్చర్స్ షుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ హీస్ రీసెర్చ్ వర్క్ సో ఐ థింక్ ఐ కెన్ టేక్ ఇట్ ఫార్వర్డ్ విత్ దీస్ వర్డ్స్ ఐ ప్రే గాడ్ టు పీస్ ఈ సోల్ ఇన్ రెస్ట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ Thank you, Suleiman Garu. I'd, uh, I'd like to invite Gauri Nair, if she is here. Um, uh, Gauri, would you like to say a few words? Uh, okay. My, my parents lived in Dwarka for a long time, and uh, Gauri is part of uh, our uh, community there, so I thought I'll ask her to say a few words. um hello to everyone here friends family colleagues um my father wanted to be here and he had even penned down what he wanted to share with you all but unfortunately he's in kerala today but um that gives me the opportunity to speak on his behalf and i also get to share so share a few things a few memories that i have of uh, rao uncle as i used to call him and uh, i would be uh, i would like to be honest here that i am uh, even a little embarrassed to admit that i wish i had spent more time with him he was living just a floor away from me and after listening to all his uh, colleagues here i actually envy all of you all that i didn't i didn't make the efforts to spend more time with him and i should have i should have done that because every time i met him i would have a lot of questions i would want to ask him and i still have those questions but well i guess i missed that opportunity <coughs> and now i don't feel the need to explain to anyone present here that um dr prasad rao was an extraordinary man and more than his uh, eminent contributions in the field of science and as an entrepreneur um when i say extraordinary i mean he was an extraordinary human being and um i had the good fortune of getting to see and experience his generosity and hospitality which is only a small part of what he had to offer he had lots to offer he had a big heart and um, i remember once on one of the many parties that uh, auntie and uncle had ho- hosted i found some time to ask him i was a child back then and uh, i asked him with a childish curiosity that did you always know that you are going to be a scientist and uh, on being asked this question i remember he chuckled and he had this uh, childish smile which reflected his innocence and honesty and he said you never know you never know what it is that you will be but i always kept searching 
and that is what you're supposed to do you keep searching and when you stop searching that is that is when you not end up anywhere but if you keep searching there are always answers and i guess that speaks a lot about the kind of scientist he was <laughs> and uh, so i remember him today and uh, for years to come i remember his gracious smile um i remember how he'd offer me juice at these parties that he used to host and um, then he would promise me that he'll get it for me but along the way he'd forget it uh but it only filled my heart with a lot of uh, love and respect for him because he had a beautiful mind and beautiful minds always uh, often forget uh little things like getting juice for the young neighbor <laughs> i i also remember the numerous blessings i received from him and this would be on the occasional greetings i used to exchange with him on the stairway and i would always look forward to those blessings because i remember even that smile from him and that blessing would give me some kind of assurance that today is going to be a good day and um i'd like to read a few portions of what my father had written uh, penned down and he wanted to share but it's not here so um let me tell you what was most touching about those anecdotes uh he would pause in between and say can you believe it mr nair mr nair is how you would call my father once mr kalam there was no reason to say can you believe we all knew even the greatest dignitaries would have wanted to meet him if they knew about him but his humility made him say can you believe it mr nair let me tell it now when he is no longer present amidst us physically that there was never a question of not believing a single word he uttered one look at his face and it was apparent that he was a man who never lied let me also remember the episode of how he broke the news of getting the lifetime achievement award he telephoned me and said with an excitement of an adolescent mr nair you know i have received this year's lifetime achievement award i was stunned to respond by the sudden breaking of this happy news and also the innocence and humility of the man who wanted to share it with me perhaps he felt that i had not understood the magnitude of his achievement he continued mr nair you know who all were the previous winners of this award no sir i confessed he reeled of some four or five distinguished names one of them was apj abdul kalam now my father also wanted me to mention uh, sujada aunty so a few words about sujanta aunty who would would not be out of place I think God has given Rao uncle a wife who had practical ability in dealing with day-to-day -day life situations. She too would enrich us by sharing with us how her two children Uday and Harita were reared when both uncle and auntie were employed. How Uday was made to sleep in his uniform so that he could leave early for school. How when my mother-in-law was seriously ill This is when back when my grandmother was ill and we had to leave for Kerala on short notice. So Jada Auntie took care of our children. Uh, auntie did take care of me and my sister. And when the children had to fly to Kerala for attending their grandmother's funeral, so Jada Auntie got up early and personally drove them to the airport. How was such virtues kept alive in life? How can one continue to love the world? without expecting anything in return i think i can make a guess after knowing dr prasad rao here i would like to end uh with my prayers and love for the family and everyone who knew him and who were close to him thank you Thank you very much, uh, Gauri. Um, I'd like to invite. We are we are ten minutes away, so I request uh, speakers to just keep this. I still have a couple more 
speakers. A couple I have dropped and I apologize uh, to them that we don't have the time. Uh, uh, Professor Dinesh Abrol, I'd uh, like you to come and uh, say a few words. Uh, friends, uh, since the time is really short and there's a huge memory to share with you of Dr. Prasad Rao, I met him. I was the president of the CSIR Scientific Workers Association. And you know, as a employee's uh, representative, uh, meeting a director of a CSIR lab uh, can be a, ch a challenge for both, both director on the one side and myself. But to my astonishment, uh, it was such a pleasant meeting that I can't describe to you because I found in him a leader, an outstanding leader, a leader who was loved by the employees and the scientists of IIP. Dr. S. N. Sharma, uh, you know, later took over as president after me. Uh, uh, later, I think there were two more presidents in between, and then he took over. I read his tribute last night today. It is so touching. I'm sure he might have already shared with you. you. I can share it with friends here uh, who was it. It describes a man who turned around IIP. And turned around how is also described in that particular mail. The qualities that as a leader he had uh, are unmatchable. I don't think uh, I myself a person of that cal uh, type uh, the, who leads things. I'm coordinator of the People's Commission on Public Sector and Public Services. I think CSR Prasad Garu must have learned from uh, Dr. Prasad Rao the kind of fight that we are putting up in the defense of public sector as far as it's concerned. And is mentioned to so many names. Balayan's name is there with me. Some of the addresses, CSR Prasad's Garu. Uh, telephone number is here, and I'm going to bother some of you. Uh, because Dr. Prasad Rao said, Dinesh, I will organize all of them. We work together uh, for the defense of uh, CEL, Central Electronics Limited. He mobilized uh, uh, close to 37 directors and various scientists together. Rajender is here. I couldn't even recognize him because he's wearing a cap. Uh, uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, you know, uh, his association with IIP, public sector, CSIR family group, confirm one thing very, very clearly, that we have lost an outstanding leader who developed human resources. He mentioned to me uh, a couple of times, he helped in so many ways, so many donations he organized when we were providing meals in Gurgaon uh, during the COVID period. When I was down with COVID period, the way he would relate to many of us, I can't see because he was 10 years older to me. Uh, I, I'm 10 years younger to him. But he would be ringing up every evening saying, Dinesh, how are you feeling? I don't know, no, no, don't, uh, my HRCT value is only three. So nothing to worry. But he was worried, he was a concern. And a concern for employees and everybody, including driver, uh, you know, which was mentioned uh, so many times. And I think that describes him as a human being, describes him as a leader. I have so many things to share with you. He said, Dhirubhai Ambani and Mukesh Ambani said, you can walk into my room anytime. Because they were dependent on the resources that he had contributed to building. So he was a human resource developer, builder of institutions, turnaround man. I would call him a turnaround leader. And I think we've lost in him a person, uh, virtually I would call a colossal figure for this country. Not only oil and gas sector, but for the research and development sector of the, in CSIR, as well as, uh, uh, I would say, for the Public Sector People's Commission. We had so many plans together to build on that, and I'm sure some of you, I will get in touch with you, and uh, we will do it together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are five minutes away, so we'll uh, close this. The last speaker I will invite is uh, Dr. Chiranjeevi. Uh, Chiranjeevi is my dad's uh, PhD student, so I thought it was fitting that he be the last speaker because he in some ways uh, represents uh, you know taking the baton on from here thank you uh, 
our respected madam abudai and all other dignitaries well wishers who are all assembled here and uh, i come prepared to speak volumes about uh, dr prasad ra sir and abudai gave me only few minutes and uh, i don't know how it is you know it is going to be very difficult what i have to cut short and what i have to speak but i will try to complete uh, within time i know prasad ra sir since last 25 years i am his phd student and he is not only my guide he is my philosopher and he is my greatest motivator in my life already many of the speakers uh, uh, you know explained or uh, memorized or you know uh, told various things but i would like to touch upon some of the points which were not uh, spoken by my earlier speakers and uh, no i will uh, touch upon few things like uh, one thing which we comes to my mind whenever i remind servers he is a greatest human being and extraordinary leader i would like to share one particular thing that as an iipn i have an opportunity to watch him very closely and one thing is that whenever he comes to office in the morning once he get down from his vehicle to reach his office in the first floor i can say that it may take 20 to 30 minutes and i am not exaggerating means he will start interacting with each and everybody who comes on his way and i will also sh- would like to share even he will also talk to mali which is you know j- next to working with him that is the kind of you know personality or the humility i you know uh, which we can uh, see in him, in him he is very sensitive to employees and employees problems whenever anybody is having problems one can go very freely and i can approach him and it is very easy to approach not only employees i know personally that he helped many of the children of uh, no employees and he helped them and you know i can say that he can he has settled them recently i visited iip that is just you uh, know uh, uh, after this news i could interact with many people and i can see many people m- remembering him and feeling very bad about this sudden uh, the demise of professor sir and you can see that i th- remember i think closely maybe it is 24 years after his retirement these many people are memorizing him and feeling bad about him i really feel that what is the you uh, know uh, what he earned in life other than the materialistic questions and i feel or i admire that one should be you know like him i would like to you know memorize few things as a research scholar earlier we don't have a research club which is very active but sir took lot of interest in research scholars club at iip and it was renewed and various dignitaries were called i can say that i am fortunate enough to meet people or the personalities like mm sharma and mashalkar in those days as a research student i could be able to meet those people that is all due to the greatness of prasad ra sir in iip prasad ra sir's era it is called as you know before prasad ra and after prasad ra that is the way people classify iip history because that is the mark he left on iip if you look at you know during his period iip has gone to the world map because so many collaborations were initiated and so many technologies were commercialized so iip was come to the and world map and if you look at funds wise so many projects used to bring before his era people says that there is a death of funds but during his tenure there is no death of funds there are so many projects and also the manpower whether it is scientific or non scientific that is at speak that is highest manpower when compared to the you know, later on years during his tenure there are lot of you know opportunities for the employees our research scholars to go abroad and come back that is the you know uh, it is so vibrant in his time because of his uh, his may his contacts or his perseveration or various other interactions i can say that lot of students 
and employees they used to go on different exchange programs and other uh, you know programs and i wanted to uh, uh, know it is one of the famous i think you know people who are from iip they might be knowing and also sir also told me so many times there is one employee he is an assistant uh, research assistant grade and uh, once he come to prasad rasa and he told sir i am going to retire and in my lifetime i never boarded a flight it is my wish that i wanted to board a flight and uh, sir made it a possible and he was sent to a seminar and he has gone by flight with the expenses of iip and you know uh, he memorizes this is one of the example that how he can walk extra mile for his employees and there are two other landmark you know achievements are you know everybody because in prasad ras sir forms from catalysis fraternity and the catalysis symposium which we conducted in ipcl baroda that is the landmark achievement every catalysis scientist they remember and they say that as a model event anybody can organize and subsequent to that in iip in 1997 national catalysis seminar the who and who of this you know entire you know indian catalysis as well as foreign fraternity all people were gathered at one point these are the two events which helped to increase the stature of our indian catalysis world and world uh, you know stays another angle which i would like to bring it to all uh, your notice is that prasad ras sir he worked for the upliftment of the poor and upliftment of the needy people and he spent his own money as well as he took contributions from various people and organizations and he used that for the mainly that avidi which he adopted he always says that chiranjeevi the avidi is my adopted village and i am working tirelessly to the upliftment of people in my village and he also says that chiranjeevi you have to also emulate this type of qualities in your life and you also should work you know in this direction and i never forget all those words what he told me uh, during my all interactions over a period of 25 years and i would like to say that he built uh, Uh, and helped for the toilets roads and temples in the every uh, village one more quality which i admire is that the love and affection which he had for his gurus and his teachers and his guru professor mn sastri he established this endowment fund and uh, you know few years back out of that you know they will conduct endowment lectures and other you uh, know academic uh, activities they started that is only mainly and the initiative of dr t s r prasad ras sir and also he is in continuous touch with our research scholars you know fraternity and he showed lot of love he always says that all my research scholars are just like my son uday that shows that how much affection and love and uh, his students were there across the world i may be one of the student may be staying in india most of all his students were in abroad and they are in very very good positions and another thing which was you know nobody mentioned or is that he is extraordinary spiritual angle he spends lot of time this you know in spiritual uh, activity and i used to say that sir uh, your life is so busy how you can spend such a long time in uh, in this spiritual activity he says that chiranjeevi after this prayer i am like a rejuvenated catalyst so don't say that i am wasting or i am doing something else basically i am rejuvenating myself so you also try to practice that that is the thing which he, he preaches me and another thing as an andhra university student uh, and also he says that chiranjeevi we should work for the betterment of andhra university so let us establish andhra university alumni chapter at you know delhi and uh, Suleiman is also here is a secretary and also uh, professor Na uh, Nageshwar Rao uh, uh, for a vice chancellor he also came here we had a two meetings and i am very happy to say that even bpc also contributed for this uh, no triple a chapter and we had given money uh, no for the uh, infra development for andhra university uh, no that is the way because you know he never sit idle and whatever the you know way uh, we can help he always uh no motivates people to do and uh, work in that way and 
last year i you know, i was happen to be in uh, no hyderabad during corona case were not uh, no still gone i gave a courtesy call to prasad rasar sir i am here in hyderabad and you know after two days i you know i came an official assignment so i'm going back then he instructed me that chiranjeev you are not leaving hyderabad without meeting me that is the way he comments and i feel lucky and it's a god's given opportunity that i met sir and i spent quality time with uh, uh, sir and madam and harita and ananya and advait for almost for few hours and also here i would like to mention that um uh, Pr- uh, mrs prasadara madam the kind of love and affection which you have shown to me and my family members as well as the entire research scholars community madam we never forget and you know we will cherish all these memories throughout our life all i am going to talk about uh, madam yourself and one good thing is that w- all prasad rasa qualities were there in uh, uday and harita if you can uh, interact with these people you never forget and you uh, know we would love to be in touch with them uday we all you uh, know uh, love and we love to be you know in touch with you and see your father in you now so uh, this is one uh, good thing what i can see i never expected that to attend this uh, type of you know Uh, prayer function for my uh, no beloved guide prasadra sir but one thing is that i feel happy for one thing his life is contented seen all good things in his life and even attended his uh, granddaughter's arangetram function also recently so in one way i feel that it is also uh, no a good way uh, after seeing these many things and also Uh, the way he uh, left this world also he always says that i don't want to see uh, any kind of you know anybody who serving for me i wanted to live peacefully without you know uh, no anything that because i will say that he is in so continuous touch with me if i am not calling over a period of two weeks or so i will get a call chiranjeevi you are not calling now it is what happened uh, you are forgetting this old man is it so so this kind of affection and uh, Uh, these things you know really i miss i am always uh, talking to my wife madhavi who is here that you know i don't know who is going to replace this you know uh, figure in my life and i pray god for giving strength to madam uday and harita to sail through this difficult phase and also i pray god for the uh, you know uh, peace for the uh, soul dr t s r prasad rao thank you thanks a lot i requested uh, chiranjeevi to uh, speak for 2 minutes uh, it's clear that uh, he has learned well from my father um, i i said uh, uh, we will uh, he was the last speaker but i uh, have to accommodate one more speaker he is uh, the grandson of my father's uh, childhood friend uh, so he'll definitely be the last speaker and then we'll have a cup of tea mr sinvas mrs sujata rao uday and all the well wishers here so i thought i would share some personal interaction what i had uh, with mr rao and uh, uh, what i heard of him but after coming here i understand what a towering personality he is and very few of the human spirit could reach such commens- commensurate place so i used to heard a lot uh, from my grandfather and his childhood friends sundaya that is how affectionately they used to call dr prasad rao yeah thank you yeah so uh, we learned a lot of we heard a lot of uh, successful stories a lot of stories uh, um, about uh, dr prasad rao in our childhood uh, janani janma bhumi sya swargat api gariyasi this is a sanskrit shloka so uh, what is the meaning of this is your mother and motherland or of the highest value wherever the height you reach that's why i am saying is uh, as some of the speakers mentioned his ancestors village avidi i proudly say i belong to the his ancestor village avidi so he contributed a lot to that village 
like giving pensions to the whoever is needy, more than 150 members, and uh, renovation of schools and temples and, uh, and construction of sewage facilities and toilets uh, with some of the contribution from the PSUs. He contributed a lot. And, and I would say, uh, I would request, may his soul get rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sinivas. Uh, with, with that, I'll uh, bring this to uh, a, a close. Um, I'd like all of you to join us for a cup of tea. And again, very grateful to everybody who spoke here, who joined us uh, here today. Uh, my mother, my sister, and I appreciate uh, your participation. I know I could not accommodate a couple of speakers. I apologize uh, for that. Uh, but uh, looking forward to continuing our conversation outside. Thank you.